This is probably one of the easiest things to do. Okay, so if this is like 100%. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 8 is kind of a weird gradation, but okay. 1, 2, 3, this is halfway down, right? This is one half life, right? So it went down four. That is 1,250. If you don't like that one, there's another one. Decreases by half. There's another one. Decreases by half. Anytime T half 1,250 years. Super easy. All right, now let's kind of put this into practice. Here's some um, radiation kinetics. Oh, everybody that thought kinetics was going away. All right, so they're given 0 0.05 micrograms. So this is not very much. Health, oh gosh, half, half life. That's just embarrassing. Six hours. We want to know how long does it take to decay to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3 micrograms. And we're assuming that there's uh, no excretion here. Okay, so first thing we need to do here is we need to figure out k because we know our first order integrated rate law and here we're just using n for our nucleus instead of a's for concentration. So Nucleus at time t versus starting equals negative kt. We need to know what k is. So we can figure out k because we're given the half-life. And that's me 0 0.693 divided by k. If you don't remember that, you can use this wonderful equation here. You'll get the same thing. Okay, so our half-life is 6 hours. 0, 0 hours. 0 0.693 divided by k. Make sure you do your division correctly. To do this, we need 0 0.693 divided by 6. Do not take 6 divided by 0 0.693. That is not correct. 0 0.1155. And again, our units for k in a first order are inverse time. Now we can solve this. So our natural log here at our time t that we need to figure out. Again, units can go away because they're the same. They're going to cancel each other out. Equals negative k, which is 0 0.1155 and then inverse hours times t. Okay, so let's take uh, one times 10 to the minus three. I don't know if you can see that, there we go. One times 10 to the minus three, divide by 0 0.05. Now let's take the natural log of it. Y'all are better with parentheses than I am. Okay, and so now let's divide by negative um, if you stored that as K, good for you. It might help you out. I didn't in this case. Um, so let's go with 33.9 hours. Uh, for if you like significant figures, uh, you may round up to 34. Or you can say 33.87. Anyway, this is the answer. It's pretty close.